Good, good morning, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you here, back at base on Thursday morning. It's about 10 to 9. Um, got home at a quarter to five this morning. Went uh, from Liscannery yesterday morning on to uh, Innes and on to Gort. I visited an aunt of mine, spent a couple hours with her, had a great chat, a cup of coffee with her, and um, I actually dropped in to see her on the way down, but it was a shorter visit. Um, I don't know food. I was getting itching for home. Um, and yesterday morning, I, I sort of turned me off as well. I had uh, I was in Clifton Hotel for the breakfast, fourteen ninety five for a midland, very midland breakfast, and coffee not included. Small cup of coffee, three euros fifty. And when I got, I thought I was, I was getting a refill. Um, they don't do refills. They wanted seven euro on top of the forty ninety five for the breakfast. Bacon was terrible. Black and white pudding was terrible. Um, the coffee, the first cup, a very small cup, was lukewarm. They brought me a mug the second time, um, but I, I, it just didn't say in the menu. I never seen it before that the coffee wasn't included in the breakfast for forty ninety five. It was the dearest breakfast I had in my trip, and the worst breakfast. Uh, I'll give an update on uh, the best and worst of uh, foods that I had on the places in another video. Uh, I'm glad I done it. It was great to meet so many people. Uh, Kerry was especially great for the racing and the racing crowd. Not so much racing crowd, bar one or two in the banner that I met. Um, it was more touristy where I was. But um, some great people and uh, some that I'll be in close contact with for years to come, I think, because... Uh, I met some very good friends. Um, after visiting Gort, I went on to Clare Galway, had a bite to eat, and went then to the Eglinton last night playing poker. Finished off, got to the final table in the tournament. Uh, they were paying four. I was down in, I was knocked out in sixth. Uh, my Queen's against Ace King, and Ace King Jack flop. Uh, so I needed a Queen or a 10 on the Turner River, and it didn't come. So out I went. So uh, that was what it was half two or something. So uh, I didn't play any cash game. Went for, for a small bit of a walk. It was a lovely, healthy night. And I came home. I had enough food. Five days now for me probably would be enough. Uh, I was just uh, itching to come home. And uh, I came straight back. Didn't stay in the uh, camper van last night. I have it here at the house. I just have to take my gear out of it and a quick clean to it. And I'll be dropping it back by 11 o'clock. So the trip was well worth it. Uh, Doing it was something I always wanted to do. Um, I might do it again next year, but uh, five days nearly will do me next year. But I, I might take in that race meeting as well. I enjoyed it really well in Killarney. Um, we had one winner yesterday, got off to a great start, won easily. And then we had uh, relying on Mr. Colin Keane. He wouldn't need uh, a shower for the, his exertions in the saddle, I thought, just that evening on all three the rides. Um, terrible to watch a couple of them. Um, Handbrake fully on, no effort made at all. Um, I don't know what the excuses were, but uh, I seen I had no battery in the phone. It went dead just evening, so I had to wait and get it charged when I went to the casino. And I was looking, I seen Christina chipped up the winner in the last one. Fair play to you, Christina, lovely price. A few were on. On to today, uh, two the possibility of adding a third later. Uh, the one mile six uh, handicap for three year olds, uh, ten declared at the four ten at Navin. Pale moonlight from the Dermot Well Yard. He's not going that great, but I hope that he could get this right this evening. Um, it's uh, just beating the nose in Galway for over one mile four, and that was off sixty five. It's up four pounds, but the winner, uh, Star Image, uh, won off a six pounds higher mark in the chorus since, and was third in Tremor to give a bit of substance to the farm. Um, it looks like the step up and trip and the you know the extra two furlongs and the, the strong uphill finish in Navin will suit. It's fifteen to eight, two to one, two pints win. Same distance race at, at three fifty five at Chelmsford. It's a tricky affair. There's only five declared. It was one last year by a Michael Bell trained uh, three year old. In fact, it was one by three year old two of the last three years. And Michael Bell is the favourite this year. It's a four year old. Um What's this? His name is uh, King Francis. It'd be a tough nut to crack because it has good uh, runs at the distance. But the three-year-old in the race is uh, Planet Legend. 
<clears throat> and it's getting a ten pound weight for age allowance. It was second the last time to Bookstead Reel. Uh, we got a close look at that race because we were on Bookstead Reel that day at, uh, in Wolverhampton over a mile four. And uh, it's, um, it's just 10 lengths back to the third. So it's between the two of them. as a little reverse forecast between King Francis on Planet Legend and a pint win on a, the 7-2 to two shot, the other on a 7-4. to four. There is a, a horse that I may add as well in Newcastle later, but uh, I didn't have... Chance yesterday evening had no battery in the phone. I meant to do that in Clare Galway, but um, I tried to get the charger. I did plug it in, in the betting shop there, but uh, I didn't. I forgot to put on the button, so that's what happened. So I thought I was charging it to do this, uh, to look at a couple of videos yesterday evening in this race and the Newcastle. I'll check it out later. I may add it in the next few hours. Just keep an eye out later this evening for that, anyone having a bet. Um, anyway... I'll get back to a more favourable routine, hopefully, by tomorrow or the next day. And uh, let's keep bashing the bookies. Over and out.